Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of AI 900 series. So in the last episode, we have talked about Azure AI vision services and we have in the previous episodes, we also talked about language services, speech services. So now let's move ahead and talk about some other important topics related to AI 900 exam. So till in the last video, we have discussed till here like form recognize has two supported models, custom and pre-built. So let's talk about this Azure AI document intelligent service. So you can see uh, like uh, in exam, it will ask you like this. Okay. What uh, service can help you to recognize key elements from invoice or receipt means uh, like uh, when you have any receipt of a, or any bill, you have certain key elements, right? Like the name of the bill. What is the GSC number? What is the address of the shop? What is your address? What is the bill amount? What is the subtotal amount? So everything, if you want to just extract that, uh, recognize that key elements from that, then you can use this AI intelligent, uh, document intelligence service. Okay. But, uh, remember that in exam, it can confuse you with this. Like it does not recognize image or translate languages. Okay. For that, you have to utilize the different services, which we have already talked about. But document intelligence service won't be able to recognize image or translate between languages. Okay. So now let's talk about Azure open AI service. Uh, we are going to talk about generative AI in the maybe upcoming episode, but not into this, but just wanted to give you an, a brief introduction about open AI service as it is also become nowadays uh, integrated part of AI 900 exam. We are going to talk about, uh, like more into like next episode so open ai uh, as some of you might already know it helps you to generate images based on the user initial prompt and allow you to um, improve iteratively so iterative improvements like uh, suppose you give you an initial prompt prompt means like any input you give to just like uh, we have open AI chat GPT, right? It is also from the Microsoft and, uh, basically a partnership, uh, open source from open AI and chat GPT. So like, uh, where you provide the input. So that input is known as prompt initial prompt. Suppose you say generate me an image of cat. Okay. So it will generate an random cat. Okay. Then you can, what, uh, what does it mean by allow in iterative improvement? Then you can say, okay, I want a cat to be of brown color. So then it will, that image also can be, uh, recolored into brown. And you want that particular cat to be on a stand on a bench or whatever you command you give, it can improve that particular image also, uh, based on your preferences. Okay. So it can also come like this in exam. Okay. Which uh, does it allow iterative improvements on user preferences? Yes, open AI will be able to do it. And it also has a real time feedback mechanism means you can provide. Okay. The response you are the cat image you are providing. It is matching your need or you can say generate another different. The image you provide is not good enough and not matching my expectation. You can do like this. Okay. The pr only problem is with this is like it, uh, it has reliance on the like more over reliance, I can say on textual input means you have to provide input as a text in the text form only. Sometimes it won't be like, uh, I just like I say, what is Python? So maybe in my understanding, I am asking about Python as a programming language, but it may interpret it as a Python as an animal and uh, like a snake form. And it just give me definition of that. So it sometimes lead to misinterpretation. It like uh, sometimes BRBR, BR, like same words we have in terms of text. So it may lead to confusion. So that is the, like, uh, that is an issue with the open AI service that it's over reliance on the textual input. So you need to be like aware of it. Next is, uh, in exam, you might see this word, uh, like, uh, emerge, uh, like, uh, many times like content recommendation system. So it is basically generate, um, it is a system which uh, helps you to recommend content to the user based on uh, like generate or predict text based on the existing content. So I can um, uh, help you to understand this with a very simple example, just like you type on Google or on YouTube also, just like you type AI 9 
then it will automatically try to predict your text okay ai 900 or what you are searching so it will automatically give you so that is content recommendation uh, that's a part of it and also it can goes nowadays goes very beyond it uh, like video content recommendation system just like whatever you are watching it can suggest uh, like similar preferences uh, to you okay so like uh, suppose on youtube you search something related to 800 then you will be also able to be to see like other videos related to ai 900 automatically so because that is uh, a like youtube has uh, its own content recommendation system so or if you are watching any horror movie on any ott platform then it will recommend OT, uh, other horror movies you as well so that is because of this content recommendation system so co-pilots uh, it also come like what is a co-pilot or what's co-pilot able to do or why is reverse also like uh, which service provide the plugin to end user to get help with the common tasks so that uh, question can come in either way okay so what does copilot does it provide us plugin to uh, the end user to so that it can get help with the common task from a generative ai models okay so there will be like certain plugins which uh, can help you okay i want help uh, uh, regarding doing something related to uh, animals or uh, something related to finance part so there will be like a certain plugins available just like if you have done coding or something we have extension in visual studio code which can help you with particular language or particular uh, tool you want to utilize like java python and there are multiple extension available so it yeah, you can treat it similar to that okay so there are multiple copilots available which basically help you to provide plugins and uh, help you with the particular related common task if you want to do something related to telecommunications something related to personal finance then it will help you with that and uh, this also question uh, comes in your exam this also comes in my real exam as well like uh, what are the compute target environments uh, available in azure ml for real time inference so only one target environment is available that is azure kubernetes service okay and uh, this uh, like uh, because now we started talking about machine learning uh, we have already talked about key elements of microsoft ai in the like very first session like ml computer vision natural language processing conversational ai anomaly detection so we have talked all about this now let's we are going to deeply discuss about ml uh, is first with the azure point of view then uh, in the next video maybe we'll talk about general ml which will come into ai 900 i am not talking anything irrelevant to this exam i am talking everything which is going to related with ai 900 so i'm very specific on this just explaining you a little bit so at least it will be clear in your mind or you are just not memorizing only okay so like uh, it may come like what are the main authoring tools available on azure ml studio home screen so there are three authoring tools like uh, basically it represent like from like what are the tools where you can make your machine learning models so in designer you can make your machine learning models through notebooks also you can make your machine learning models or you can utilize automated ml basically where you can do automatic all things so let's discuss about that first it is also known as auto ml service as well so it um, it is basically help, uh, helps you to automate the time consuming and uh, iterative like repetitive tasks for the machine learning development okay so and uh, it can come like uh, in a various different uh, words or different languages basically help you you don't need any programming experience because it is basically automating everything you need for the your machine learning model development and uh, what it does it creates number of pipeline in parallel so it does several tasks in parallel it does not okay one task finish then it will start next task and then third task it can do multiple tasks simultaneously so your overall process will be very very fast so it uh, like auto ml is really uh, if you are like a beginner or you don't know anything about machine learning especially um, if uh, someone comes from a management background and it want to do something related to machine learning models then it comes very handy this auto ml service okay so as i said it works by running multi multiple training iteration 
uh, at assignment time and and you can rent it by the matrix you specify you can say okay uh, i want this to be done on the priority and everything you can specify the particular matrix and it will uh, perform these tasks automatically okay and it can train all kinds of mod important models like uh, we have classification model regression model time series forecasting model supervised model we are going to talk about it uh, like in very detail as i said but you can understand okay auto ml service can train all these uh, ml models just uh, remember the name for as of now but like these are the different kinds of machine learning model okay but what are the things it won't be able to do even it is an automatic uh, automated machine learning but you should remember what it does not able to do because that is very important for exam okay so it does not automatically infer training data okay means you have to provide the data to train it okay it does not auto you want to like do it uh, you want to train your model so at least data you should provide from your end okay then it will do all the it will build automatically the model it will do all the task uh, required for the machine learning deployment like till the deployment testing it everything it will do but at least you should provide the training data okay and it does not automatically infer what labels needs to be predicted means you have to tell uh, in this uh, when you are utilizing auto ml service that what you want uh, your model to predict okay i want uh, my model to predict okay if image contain cat or not so that is uh, that input should come from your end your more uh, like this service will not automatically decide okay uh, you want uh, to predict uh, what you want to predict from the images okay so that input that you want particularly cat to be recognized that has to be come from your end okay and you cannot include custom python script in a training pipeline so that is very important it may uh, come directly in the exam okay and also you cannot visually connect data sets and modules on a interactive canvas means so it's not like a a uh, drag and drop tool or something like this that will come as a part of design but in automated ml you cannot uh, like uh, visually connect data set data sets or just connect that arrow to modules which we are able to do in designer we are going to talk about it but that is not a part of auto ml okay uh, now let's talk about the designer part so what are the steps to start a training machine learning model in machine learning designer so first what you have to do you have to create the training pipeline when you are utilizing designer then you have add the data sets then add the training model so it's like an uh, drag and drop tool basically you just add training models you just type it then you deploy your model and then you create the inference uh, pipeline if you like want to know more about what is training what is inference then i have attached a separate video here you can click on the i button or you will check uh, in the description you will find the link or in the comments uh, you will find the link related to what, so you will understand what is the basic difference between training and inference okay so what are when uh, like what are the general modules available under the azure ml design so this you can see uh, like there are multiple models uh, modules available and this flow also you need to be uh, like aware of like uh, first you need to provide raw data as we already talked about you have to provide your end data then you will select the columns in the data set and then uh, it will clean the missing data so as i said designer is just like a drag and drag and drop tool okay what you want after this what you want after this so it will do it okay then you want to split the data then uh, you want uh, this is a linear regression model so then you have to train it and then you finally you get a score out of your model okay so this is the like a general flow and general modules available under azure ml designer and uh, as we already talked about it this designer service provides you a drag and drop visual canvas to do all machine learning development related tasks build it test it and deploying it and uh, it take also provide you like to drag and drop modules and connect those modules and various components and data set on a visual canvas okay and uh, also help uh, helps you enables you 
to save your progress as a pipeline draft means you can save it and like later utilize for uh, like various as a templates but remember like it cannot drag and drop a pipeline into a designer canvas so pipelines are a part of uh, till whatever discuss is a part of auto ml okay you cannot drag and drop a pipeline here is just a canvas okay what you want to do basically okay and also it does not enable you to uh, custom cus, uh, to include custom javascript function okay then uh, you need to talk about uh, like uh, if uh, it comes like how you can consume uh, inference pipeline from azure ml designer so for that to consume inference pipeline you need uh, two things you need the rest endpoint and you need the primary authentication key for your service okay then you will be able to utilize inference pipeline so that two things you need to be aware like endpoint to just basically where you want to connect and primary authentication key will do your authentication part just like any uh, like you need just particular address okay this endpoint i want to connect and uh, this uh, primary authentication just for your authentication and if you want to deploy the inference pipeline from designer then what you have to do you have to deploy as a real time endpoint and it should be and it must be deployed on a azure kubernetes cluster service okay that is also a very important question which comes in exam and what are the computer resources available in azure uh, ml studio it is the computer compute instance compute clusters kubernetes clusters and attached computers so they might get uh, will confuse you okay in exam like it will come as a kubernetes instance or uh, attached uh, clusters it will like they will play with the words so you should remember okay what are the computer resources available compute instance compute clusters kubernetes clusters and attached computers okay so compute instance are used to run the pipeline and uh, these compute clusters are used to run the batch inference so now uh, this part we are going to discuss in the next video i don't want to make this video a longer one because uh, that's the main motto of breaking down its part but if you want to see it in a just one group i will uh, make a like compilation of these and give you an updated uh, like a compilation of all these in a single video so you can watch it in one go so you can watch that later i will provide the link in the description for the same but now uh, like azure ml part is basically completed we are going to discuss about the machine learning part or ai part which is very common but uh, it's not very strictly related to azure but it it is a major part of ai 900 exam so it is going to be very important in session so let's talk about this in the another video make sure you subscribe the channel like this video and uh, keep supporting it please share with your juniors and colleagues see you guys in the next video bye